Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we've made it to our first test of the online uh, learning. Um, I just want to pause before I give you your access code. I want to share something with you. Uh, as I know, we've all heard the news that we're <clears throat> out of school till May the 4th at the earliest, uh, which really kind of stinks for everybody. Uh, there's a book out there uh, that is written by uh, Admiral McRaven. Um, he, I believe, is in the Navy. Uh, Air Force, perhaps. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. But he gave a commencement speech at the University of Texas, Hook'em Horns, and uh, he said, making your bed is the best way you can start the day. So if there's anything that you have to do that I'm going to challenge you to do every single day is get up and make your bed. And on the back of his book, he wrote a book, it's called Make Your Bed. You can find it on Amazon. I think it's like 10 bucks. It says on the back, it says, if you want to change the world, start off by making your bed. If you, wake, if you make your bed every morning, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride, and it will encourage you to do another task and another and another. By the end of the day, that one task completed will have turned into many tasks completed. Making your bed will also reinforce the fact that little things in life matter. If you can't do the little things right, you will never do the big things right. So I guess what I'm trying to say is like, wake up, make your bed, and let's start the day. Uh, it can be very hard to not treat this like... A very, 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 very extended spring break or even summer break where you kind of sleep in, you relax, you just sit around the house and don't do a whole lot. We're in school, guys. We're doing school every day. You're doing school every day. So get up at a reasonable hour. I'm not telling you to get up at your normal, you know, football, 6 o'clock, get there at 6.30 time. I'm telling you to get up, be up by 8, be up by 8.30 at the latest. Get up, take a shower, get yourself dressed, get yourself made up for the day. Put on some clean clothes, brush your teeth, comb your hair, whatever you would do, make your bed, and then let's go. Um, I think it would be a great way to start the day every day, and then you can dive into school however you choose. Uh, I know with Coach Bauman and I's class, we do it more of kind of like college. <clears throat> Here's an assignment. Here's a due date. I don't care when you do it. We give you suggestions, but it's due on April the 2nd, which is today. So by noon, you need to turn your Chapter 18 virtual packet in to us on uh, Canvas. Uh, I know I told my class this, Coach Baum's class, this probably applies to you too. Um, don't look at your final grade on Canvas as your grade. Uh, just look at the grades for the assignments that you start to complete. We don't put grades in on Canvas. We put our grades in on Skyward. Skyward is locked to us right now, so don't focus on your grade on Canvas. Uh, that being said, Chapter 18 virtual packet goes in today by noon. Let's take our tests online. Be truthful. Act like you're in class. We'll give you the access code login. Take care of that. And then um, tomorrow we're going to open up Chapter 19, and you're going to dive into a brand new packet. It's a little different than the one we gave you for this. I think you might like it a little bit more. We kind of tag teamed with the CMS teachers to make something that's a little more interactive and a little less, here's Coach Bauman and Coach Tibbetts giving notes. I think you're going to like that. So what you're here for, the access code for your test. Today's access code is we miss you. One word, capital W, lowercase e, capital M, lowercase i, lowercase s, lowercase s, capital Y, lowercase o, lowercase u. We miss you uh, because it's truthful. We miss you guys. We love you guys. Good luck on your test. Take your time. Get a good grade, and we will see you, hopefully, uh, sooner rather than later. Bye, guys.